Starlight in the Winter Solstice, a story by Delphi. I hope you like this video, and if you do, please hit like and subscribe to my channel, and thank you all for watching. Sunset in the forest of old, Starlight the Unicorn said, it's getting quite cold. I wonder why the winter always returns. And then she set off with a new thing to learn. She saw Rabbit with her long winter coat. Rabbit, she said, why is it getting so cold? Rabbit looked at the sunset and said, the winter solstice is coming. Go find your warm bed. Winter solstice, said the unicorn, but the rabbit was gone. Then she heard a bird singing a beautiful song. It came from a cardinal up in a tree. Dear bird, said Starlight, can you explain the winter solstice to me? The bird said, I'll tell you what I know, but to really find out, you must ask the stones. She turned to the hill with the stones at its peak. They have been here much, much longer than me. When the longest night happens, you have nothing to fear. The warm days will come back year after year, but if you really want to find out why, go ask the stones at the hill of the sky. Thank you, thank you, I won't wait for the day. I'll have the moon and the stars to light the way. The wise stones will tell me why the night is so long, and with that, starlight set out singing an old unicorn song. The unicorn walked until the moon was high. Then she walked some more to the hill of the sky. She heard the stones singing in low earthy tones. Lights danced all around them and she felt less alone. Dear stones, said Starlight, a bit nervously, can you explain the winter solstice to me? I've traveled so far and walked all night. I'm a bit tired and I wonder, when will it be daylight? Have a rest, sang the stones, one voice out of many. We were put here to mark the return to plenty. Sit down in our circle, and we will ease your fears. The winter is caused by the dance of the spheres. Unicorns don't fear being cold or alone. Instead, they make any situation their home. Starlight sat down and thought about her warm bed and a glowing bubble of light surrounded her head. It spread to her body and she snuggled in tight. She was ready to listen all about the longest night. The stones sing together in perfect harmony. The earth goes round the sun, you see and we're tilted on an axis of 23.5 degrees. When we are farthest away from the light, we feel the coldest on the winter solstice, the longest night. The stones sang their song and the unicorn nodded her head. So everything goes in circles, she said. And because the earth is round and we live on a ball, sometimes the light doesn't reach at all. Very good, said the stones. Now you understand why. There is much ado about the longest night. On the winter solstice, the sun seems furthest away. And that's why it seems so long until day. As the stones and the unicorn sang in rhyme, 
a new song began to appear in the sky, the song of the sunrise over the east, where the biggest stone stood, and it began to sing. Now each day will have more sun than the last, and night will grow shorter and summer will come fast. The unicorn joined in the old stone song and found herself easily singing along. With a little bit of magic still in the air, snowflakes fell and starlight's hair. And with that, the unicorn thanked the stones and the birds and the lights that glowed. Down she walked from the top of the hill with beautiful snowflakes caught in her tail. Starlight went back to her warm unicorn home and then she snuggled in soft blankets to watch the snow. She yawned and sank soft into her bed closed her eyes, and finally rested her head.